right, good evening, everyone. We'll wait just a moment for some people to get their notifications. And um, if you want to share, um, that's fine. We're about to make some wings. We kind of switched it up a little bit. We're still going to have hot wing, but we're going to have some teriyaki and some um, a different flavor, like a honey chipotle or something like that for them. Hey. Jerome said, I'm here. Now, I didn't drink a lot of water. I've already drank two bottles, and this is my third. <laughs> so, bear with me, okay? <laughs> bear with me. All right, while we're waiting on some people to come in, I'm going to go ahead and add my oil to this pot. We are doing a vegetable oil. So, I'm going to show you everything step by step. Sometimes, I'll have the oil already in the pot. But as you can see, this is just a generic vegetable oil, Okay. Hey, Teresa. Hey, J is it Janae? Hey, Janet and Terry. Let's get that open, honey. And I like to deep fry my wings, particularly in this pot. I would love to be able to cook outside. However, my, my cooktop, it does not cook high enough. And who wants a soggy wing, okay? I wouldn't even serve no soggy wings, honey. <laughs> I couldn't even do it to my people. You need your wings to get crispy. That's what we need. So we got this on a medium high heat. We're gonna come on over here while we're heating up that oil and start prepping something else that I need to do. Let's see, I'm gonna put y'all right here. And I need to be able to see you. Let me see, I may have to take y'all off this stand. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing though. That's more important to me than you seeing me. So let me know if this is not a good angle because I could put y'all back up there, okay? So we have our wings here, but we're not ready for those yet. They are room temperature because I like mine to sit out. Now, my home is never hot. So when I say room temperature, it's like, you know, it's cool in here. So it's cool, but not cold. Cool, but not cold. What'd you say? Does vegetable oil fry better? Um, honestly, I can't answer that. I guess for me it works. So I'm not going to say it fries better as much as it just works. I mean, I like to use it. Hello, hello. All right, so let me know if this angle is not good enough. I think that's not going to work. I can already tell we're going to have some issues. So let me turn y'all back this way. I know what I'm going to do. I just need to see my comments. I don't care if y'all see me. So let's do it this way. That way I can see the camera. How about that? Okay, so right now we have our uh, spinach and spring mix. We're gonna add to our bowl while our oil is heating up over here. And mine is uh, already ready to go. So we're gonna add some to the bowl. Isn't this a pretty color? I love the uh, spinach and spring mix. It's just beautiful. And I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. A lot of the times when I'm cooking things that need to go in the fridge, I'll go ahead and put them back in the fridge. I don't like them to sit out too long. So we have this ready. Now we're gonna chop up our uh, some of our vegetables. As you can see here, I have some green onion that we're gonna use to go into our sauce, okay? That's what I got this for. So it's going to be a garnishment for our wings. So we're just going to set that aside. But then I got some tomato. And y'all look, I finally got my cucumber. <laughs> Remember I went to the store the other day and didn't even get the cucumber, child? That was a mess. That was a whole hot mess. I just couldn't even believe it. So we got our salad. We're going to peel our cucumber. We are heating up this vegetable oil over here. So we just gonna kill two birds with one time. I'm sorry, I gotta find, there it is. I have to find my potato peeler, honey, or my peeler rather. So this is my trash bowl. So you'll see me kind of just putting stuff in there. So we're gonna peel this cucumber. Takes just a moment, honey. Nice, fresh, firm cucumber. That's what you need, honey. 
And if you cook today, what did you cook? Or are you cooking dinner? I know Saturdays or the weekends are usually times that people take off and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Hey, Christina. Hey, honey bunny. All right, so I'm gonna just chop it in half and then I'm just gonna go this way. I like to chop my cucumbers up kind of small. So I like to go and then go into fours. You say what? Oh, gotta get ready for, yeah, I, I heard it's, um, you know, some cold weather. Even my aunt where she is, she didn't even um, mention anything about it. <laughs> But I know, you know, she stay prepared and everything. So, hey, you all be safe. I remember living in St. Louis, child. I remember. You got to be careful out there. Sometimes there's black ice out there. You can't really always tell or see where the slick spots are. So I'm grateful, too, that I grew up in that area because in an area where there is snow because it helped me to, to be a better driver. No offense, but it really did. I'm a very careful driver because of growing up in um, in that area. And I started driving at 11. Legally, of course, at 15. <laughs> but literally, I was 11 years old when I first drove a car. All right, so we're just going to put some of those cucumbers on there. And we're going to toss it, but for, for now, we're just going to get them on there. And then we're going to cut our tomato. Our oil is coming along just fine. It's just about there. And we're going to start adding in our wings. And then I'm going to show you all this, these sauces we're going to use. You may roast. Okay, now, honey. Hey, Kathy. You say, Deborah said, yes, ma'am, right? Across, across the river. Okay. I miss being in St. Louis in a way. But in a way, I don't. That's a trash bowl, y'all. All right, I'm going to grab one of my tomatoes. I probably only need one for them. Um, this is just a simple garden salad that I'm making for my kids. But I have other toppings. Like if I'm making a salad for me, you all, I'll do lettuce. Uh, of course, lettuce. But I'll do tomato, cucumber. I'll chop up some pickle, chop up some jalapeno. Sometimes I'll do seeds. I'll do um, broccoli florets. Uh, sometimes I'll do fresh mushroom. Um, I love sprouts. Oh, I love sprouts. I love the alfalfa sprouts, but it's hard to find them around here. But like, I'll get bean sprout if I have to and put them on my salad. I just like a nice vegetable salad. I don't like croutons and I don't like black olives or anything. That's why you don't see me use that kind of stuff on my food. But, um, you know, you just add what you like. All right, and it's just that simple. We're done with that salad. And all we have to do now is toss it. And I think she did um, wash my, yep, she did. She washed my little salad spoon here. We can move this out the way. Now, I like to put salt and pepper in here first. And then we're gonna come over here and start dropping some of these wings. Move this for me. Oh, I do need that uh, cutting board again. Gotta chop up some um, some onion. So I'm gonna put some black pepper. I love this thing. It's like it's so satisfying to twist this grinder. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I've had that thing a long time too. A long time. I like. Would you say I like spinach, salad? Thank you, dear. We're gonna toss it. I'm going to let them do the dressing when it's time. A little salt, a little pink salt. And then I'm just going to use my little salad spoon here and toss that around. And then we're just going to set this aside while we're prepping the rest of everything else. Now, they do like uh, cheese. Let me add them some cheese. I don't eat cheese in my salad, but let's give them some cheese. Let's not deny the poor children of cheese.
And I'll put just a little bit of that Parmesan cheese. There we go. Nice, fresh garden salad. Just a little cucumber, tomato. Got your uh, spinach mix. I mean, a uh, spring mix. Those spinaches in it. <laughs> and we got a little Parmesan cheese. Okay. So there's our salad. We'll sit that there. Now let's come over here and start adding some of these wings into the pot. Tammy said, yummy. <laughs> Pamela said, I love cheese. I got to stick some in between my little camp, I mean, my little thing, y'all, so it'll stay. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's cooking neck bones. That sounds so good. All right, let's start dropping some of these wings in. And I'm going to move y'all back a little bit when I first start, because these are naked. We don't want anything popping in y'all face. I'm not responsible if you get burned on this live. On the floor. Now, another reason why I like my chicken room temperature, especially when I'm trying to make it, is so you don't have an explosion of your oil. You don't want your oil going all over the place. And if you do it once at one at a time instead of all at once, it will help keep your oil under control, okay? All right, now I can bring you all back a little closer. And you wanna just start moving around that chicken. Remember we talked about that. I received my cookbook. Yay, I'm glad you got your cookbook. Yeah, you all, y'all literally allow me to reach my goal every month. Y'all help me to reach my goal. I'm literally almost at my goal. I'm like a, a, maybe two cookbooks away. I have a set goal every month of how many cookbooks I want to sell. And y'all just bless me every every month. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot express it enough. And I'm excited because um, this next book, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I really, really am. And I'm getting a lot more motivation during this time of just consecration. So I just thank God. <sighs> He's just so good to me. But I keep telling people, if you just be you, and be faithful and be honest with people and treat people right. God will send you people to support you. He'll send you people. You ain't got to swindle people and bamboozle them or lie to them. Or you ain't got to do none of that. You just treat people right, man. And God will send people to you to treat you right. It's really that simple. That's why I don't get on here begging and asking for nothing. Now, I know the Bible say ask and you shall receive. But there's a time and a place for that. I don't have to get on here and ask y'all for nothing. Because God provides. So everything y'all do is extra. Now, if I was in need, <laughs> I'll have to reconsider that. But literally, God has blessed me. He has blessed me through and through. I ain't got all I want to have. And I ain't got a million dollars in the bank, but I'm content. I got everything I need. My needs are met today. That's all that matters. The needs are met today. We got electricity today, a roof over our head today, food to eat today, clean water to drink today. The Bible said tomorrow's not promised. Yesterday is gone. Okay? So don't worry about nothing, honey. At all. All right. So for those who have popped on, thank you all for liking and sharing. What we've done so far is make a nice garden salad. And let me kind of toss it. Some of the uh, vegetables have gone to the bottom, but y'all know how they go with a salad. So we have some um, cucumber and tomato in this beautiful salad, as you can see. Okay. So we've done that so far. And we've dropped pretty much most of our wings are in this batch. 
We got a few more in this uh, this other batch. And we're gonna be good to go, we'll be done. The only other thing I'm gonna do is they wanted some fries, so I'm gonna do some waffle fries. Yes, amen, uh, Tammy. I'm gonna do some waffle fries for them, and then that's it, and I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you all my dishes that I have. I have a mat matching dish to that bowl. We're gonna use this. I'm gonna put that over there. And then we're gonna plate our wings really nice and just let them eat and pick their wings off this plate. I'm gonna separate it. So we'll have three different types of wings, maybe four if I do some naked. I mean, leave some naked. So we're gonna have a nice little setup there. Let's see what else. Now with your wings, you only need to cook them for about, I would say about 12 minutes. You'll have a nice, of course it'll be done, but you'll have a nice crispy wing. Y'all see that chicken? Okay, but you'll have a nice crispy wing. Look at that, naked wings. All of which you can do at home. I did a live earlier showing how I prep the wings. I let you all know the steps that I take so that you can make the exact, and make it the exact same way or you can make it your way. So those are just about there. They're about three fourths the way. And we'll put those in. And while that's going on, I need to um, cut up some of these onions. I got some green onions, so I'm going to go ahead and take the thing off of that. But we do need some of that cut up. It smells so good in here. So while that's cooking, let me show you all these sauces. We have our... Frank's Extra Hot, if you're in the area, these are half off at the Winn-Dixie across from the hospital. Half off, honey. So you're paying about $2 and something. Frank's Extra Hot, so we got that for the hot. This is uh, Alana's favorite. My favorite too, but I don't eat it as much. The Sweet Baby Ray Sweet Teriyaki. The Sweet Baby Ray. If you have not tried this, I have been in the store talking to couples I remember it was a couple, they was trying to figure out a teriyaki, I mean a sauce for their wings. I said, y'all got to try this now. No, I did not flour the wings, Rachel, because we're uh, making wings uh, with the sauces. And then we have the, I've never tried this and I won't be trying it today, but the kids tried it and they liked it. I let them kind of put their finger in it and taste it. So this is Hey Hey Chipotle, um, Honey Chipotle Barbecue Dipping Sauce. So we're gonna toss some with that. Drum said, my hot sauce. <laughs> so we're going to do that for the sauces. And we'll get to that. For now, we want to go ahead and make sure these uh, wings are, well, like I said, nice and crispy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, yes. So, again, these are naked wings. They're naked. Okay? No flour. I'm gonna fry them just like that and then we're going to toss them in our sauces with a little butter and some of that green onion. Well, we're definitely gonna garnish it with green onion. And it's gonna be good. So they're starting to float, so that means they are just about done. Once your chicken is floating, it's good to go. Hey, Miss Ger Gerald, thank you. <laughs> Tamara, you, you mean getting excited for the kids? I'm not eating any. <laughs> but I'm excited to cook it because I know they're going to enjoy it. I get excited when I cook because I know whoever going to eat it, baby, they going to enjoy it. <laughs> yes, Rachel, it smells so good up in here. I'm going to lift my window a little bit. You know, we talked about that smell kind of lingering in your house. So even though it smells good, you know, to have it kind of lingering around, which it doesn't linger much because I don't have carpet in here, so it works. Look at that. These are about ready to come out. I don't want to cook them too long, but I know the these are definitely ready. The flats. I'm going to start taking those out. See those wings? Get those flats.
This meal does not take long to cook. You'll be done before you know it, honey. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're nice and crispy. <laughs> Somebody said they love flats. Me too. That is my favorite part. I'll give you a close up. We've got to drop the rest of this chicken real quick. So it doesn't take long. I'm going to drop those drums first. Again, I got all of this chicken for under $12. I got 14 whole wings for $11 and about 72 cents. And look at all this chicken I'm getting out of that. $11 and 72 cents. Now if you go buy them somewhere, you ain't getting no, let's see, 14 times two is 28. You ain't getting 28 wings. <laughs> Cause that's how they selling them now, as pieces. You're not getting 28 pieces of wings for under $12, nowhere. I'm gonna drop those um, in pieces too. I don't know if they're gonna eat them or not, but I'm not gonna waste them. So if you haven't fried, uh, you haven't tried frying your chicken naked, it's so good. And it's low carb. So it's delicious and it's low carb. So once I get mine in there, I start moving mine around. And the beautiful part is, so the wings are naked, so all of that flavor is actually flavoring your oil. So when you make your french fries, guess what's going to happen? It's going to go, it's going to soak it right on up. <laughs> You're going to have some flavorful french fries, that's for sure. So let me show y'all these wings close up. And my little handle thing, let me see. I may have to move y'all. Let me see. Hold on a second. How do you do this? Oh, I don't even know how to work my own thing. Okay. Bear with me, child. Bear with me. Okay. So you can see how they look just fried naked. Thank you. They are tender. Uh oh. They are nice and crispy. Child. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna get y'all back in this pot and we're gonna chop up those green onions. All right, and I did do a live earlier if you wanted to know like what I seasoned the chicken with and all of that. There's a live uh, called, um, I don't know, I think I just said prepping the chicken. Prepping the wings or something like that. They're so beautiful. Smells amazing. And they just come out amazing. Thank you, Miss Cox. So let's come over here so we can cut up these green onion. Um, I need a ramekin. Get my knife. Let me start with just three of them. I, well, let me start with these. Let 
That's my trash bowl. Okay, so for those that weren't here. Oh, y'all can't even see it. <laughs> it's right there. That's why I'm putting that trash. Um, Jerome said, I believe you. Uh, thank you, um, Laquita. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to chop up these green onion because I'm going to serve as, I'm going to put some of them in the sauce because we still have to warm up the sauce, which I'm going to just warm them up each in the microwave. It's no big deal. And um, with a little butter. And then you just want to toss, I'm just going to toss some of the wings in each sauce. I'm going to plate it up for my, my family, my kids, and just let them eat. Let them have at it. And they can enjoy the rest of their night. I'm going to try to go to bed early. I'm going to try to go to bed early. I always say that, but uh, it's funny because I used to be able to go to bed early, but now I have so much energy, I don't even be sleepy. You know how you could be kind of, you know, like from your day, not even tired, but just, you just had a day. You know, you feel like you've been through the day and you just want to sit down. That's how I be feeling because I do a lot during the day, but then I don't be sleepy. So I just be sitting up looking at stuff on TV. So I'm gonna put these or my shows rather because I don't I don't really watch TV TV, but I have certain shows that record on on demand that I'll go and watch those when I have a few minutes. Let me wash my hands. Okay. I don't know why my nose stay running. Um, you're not gonna watch the specials coming on tonight with Fantasia. No, I don't I don't follow either person. I don't follow Oprah or Fantasia, so I don't know what they have going on. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's look at these wings. So I can get y'all a little closer. Okay. So now those tips are just about ready to come out. I know they're done. And the chicken is just about done too. It's nice and crispy. It's starting to float. I'm gonna try to pick those tips out. Let me move this chicken over. Okay, let's move that like that. Okay. Let me get my get this on. Look at those tips, y'all. That'd be the best part to me. I don't know why, but it just do. The tips, then the, the, the flat. <laughs> I don't even know why the drum is necessary, but I guess we gotta show them some love too. I got them all. Nope. Yeah, I think that's it. But y'all see how it's floating? Hold on, we've got to come back to that. So there are those tips. A little close up on that. I always use fresh chicken. I always use fresh chicken. Okay. So let's look at this. I want y'all to have a close-up, honey. Look at that. Look at that chicken. When I be posting those pictures for y'all, that's what I be doing when I'm when I'm cooking at home. I'll pick it up like that and then take a picture. I don't know if I can get one while I'm on live because y'all comments and stuff, but it's okay. So either way, this is ready. So let me stop playing and get it out. All right, let's grab those out. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, let's grab the fries. Hold on. I'm a 
gonna turn the heat off. Hey, we can't turn that heat off yet. Not yet. Take its course. Let me throw this All that for under $12. Uh oh, what did I do? Okay, so now what we're going to do. Let's get this, these sauces. I don't know if y'all can see all the bowls, but let me try to put them like this and maybe you can see. Yeah, y'all can see. All right. So in the first bowl, I'm going to put the sweet teriyaki. Again, it's just sweet baby rays. I like the sweet baby rays, but this is what my daughter wanted. So I went to the store and grabbed it some. You don't need a whole lot. Next, I'm going to do the honey chipotle. And this is more of a barbecue style. to do the um, Frank's Extra Hot. Now, whatever else you want to add to your sauces at this point is totally up to you. I'm just going to add some butter and heat each of them up. And then I'm going to start tossing these wings in it and put plate them. And I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to uh, set it up. How I'm going to um, let them serve themselves. Let me throw these fries. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Somebody gonna be eating good tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little butter in each sauce. for the noise and put a little extra butter in the hot and we're going to add a little bit of our green onion we're going to use some to go in the sauce and then some for the garnishment okay so we still have enough to garnish the wings let's get some let's stir this well, we need three spoons, don't we? Well, we got to toss them anyway, so we do need three spoons either way. Let's see what I'm going to use. I got, I want one without holes in it. And we'll use this one. So you just want to take it. I'm just stirring it in because of the, uh, the green onion and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the microwave first. You can 
and warm them up on the stove. And you don't even have to warm up your sauces if you don't want to. That's totally up to you. Stir in that, that green onion. Y'all can see that. And then with this part, you know, you just want to use whatever sauces that you and your family enjoy. There's a ton of sauces out there or make your own. Or leave them naked. Okay. Let's see about these fries. They're just about there. We want to let them get nice and crispy. And they're almost there. And I know that they are just soaking up the flavor from those wings. If you're just coming on, here are the wings that we are about to toss in the sauce. And then whatever you want to leave naked, you can. They're really good naked too because you they just taste so flavorful. And again, I use fresh wings. These were under 12. They were $11.72 for uh, 14 whole wings. So I got 14 whole wings and I just cut mine. Just like when they serve them to you at the restaurant and you order hot wings, I just cut them like this into pieces. Now while that's going, let me wipe off my stove. Those wings was making a mess. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now let's check this sauce. Ooh, let me not grab that with my hand. Here's the hot. I'm gonna move this one. There's the hot. It's ready. And heating up your sauces too will also help to bring more heat back to your um, to your wings. So once you cook them, you can toss them in that warm sauce. Ooh, that's strong. Hold on. <coughs> Ooh, that's strong. That hot is is smelling hot. All right, let me stir that. Ooh, that smells really hot. And they say extra hot. They meant extra hot. Let's see. Went shopping today at Wegmans. $14 for $10.30. I know that's right. Hey, Michael. Okay, let's check this one more time. You got to always keep your eyes on stuff. Don't leave the kitchen while you're cooking. Unless you're cooking something that you can turn down to a lower heat. Don't walk away because anything could happen at any given time. And I practice that definitely when I'm not on live. <laughs> so anything could happen. All right, I think I'm done with this tongue here. Well, I need it. I do need it. I wish y'all could smell that sauce. It's so hot. And I, I can bring this. No, I can leave it there. Oh, I know what I need. I need some um, parchment paper. So I'm going to lay that down on that tray. And I'll show you all the tray again in a minute. You'll be able to see it. It's just right behind you. Um, we need three pieces of parchment paper. And I'm just using this because I don't have any other paper. So I'm just going to use the parchment to keep my wings separate with their uh, their sauces. Okay. All right, we got our next sauce done, and I'm gonna grab. Let me move this one so I can set the other one down. That one really smells good, you all. The um, sweet teriyaki. Well, whatever it is, teriyaki. Oh, that smells good. 
Man. Oh, that's the barbecue, isn't it? That's the barbecue. That smells good. That smells really good, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I gotta make this recipe for you all that, um, with the barbecue, you, um, you cook uh, yellow rice. It's a certain type of yellow rice. And you make some chicken, like chicken cube chicken. You cook that up, like you grill, you actually grill it, like grill it on the grill. And then you chop it up and then you serve it over the rice and then you put barbecue sauce on top. And it's so good. All right. I can move my trash bowl because we're done with that. But it does come in handy when you have it sitting there. You don't have to keep running back and forth. And now we're about to start tossing our wings, but I want to make sure the last one is done. Again, here's our salad for those that missed that. It has cucumber, tomato, probably just can't see it, and a little Parmesan cheese. Let's see, I need my tray. Where am I gonna put it? All right, hopefully they're crispy now. Okay, now they have a crisp to them. These took longer to get a crisp to them, but they're just perfect. I'm gonna show you all. Let's take them out. Put a little salt on them. Y'all see that? Y'all see those waffle fries? Everything is right on schedule. Right on schedule. Look at that. Now, while that grease is still sizzling, let me add a little salt to our fries. And if they want more, they can add it. But there they go. So what I'm gonna do with these once they drain, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. So I'm gonna just set those aside. Let's go ahead and get our other sauce. Our last sauce. And toss these wings. I'm gonna do that first. So I'm not gonna to toss any of the tips. We're just gonna to toss the actual wings. So let me stir that. Let's see, this goes here into the sweet, the teriyaki. This is for the hot. And this is for the barbecue. The honey chipotle barbecue. So I'm gonna start by putting, let's see. Now Layla only wants, she's the only one that wants this. So I'm only gonna do a few in here. So let me do, let's say two, let's give her four of these. Alana wants sweet teriyaki and hot. So I'm gonna give her two. She's not gonna eat that many. Let me give her three. Layla wants teriyaki too. So let me give her uh, two of each. Okay. And then for the hot, Alana wants, uh, I'll give her like two of those. because A wing and a, a flat. Layla, she can eat. So let me give her a couple. I'm gonna give her four. So she got about a, at least an eight, nine, 10 piece. I don't know what she got, but she got a lot going on. <laughs> so really once you um, put them in that warm sauce and you toss them, that's all you have to do. You can put them in a bowl and shake them around. You ain't gotta do all that. So unless you just want to. So you could just toss them like this, as you all can see. Just toss them in the sauce with your, with your spoon like that. They're covered just fine. There's that. And then we're gonna toss these. That's it. And I put some of that green onion in there, but we're also gonna garnish them with the green onion. Okay. Look at that. Look at those wings, honey. All right. So now, and I'm actually gonna put them all on a plate. So let me see. We still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Aaliyah has to have some too. So let me put her some aside. And then Bella has to have a few to eat. Bella's gonna get plain wing, so we'll put her some aside. Aaliyah will get one, two. We'll give Aaliyah. She just gonna have pretty much all flats. That's what it looks like for Aaliyah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aaliyah's out with her friends, honey. She went to go um, eat pho. Her friends invited her out to eat pho. Is it called pho, y'all? Am I saying it right? Pho or for show? <laughs> what is it called, y'all? Is it pho? P-H-O or something like that? And I'm going to go ahead and make their plates because I'm not. I was going to put it on their big plates, but I'm not going to do that. better for me to give them their separate wings because I don't want there to be no type of confusion. Y'all know how they go. So let's sit this here and this one here. And let's move that there. This is going to be Layla's plate. And then Bella and Alana. I have their little plates. They have their little kitty plates. So fix these plates honey and let them go ahead and eat y'all not gonna be able to see uh bella's plate it's gonna look like but it's okay i'll show you all right so let me give her some fries this bag of fries cost about it was four four something so the good thing about it is you get to eat as much as you want you're not limited to what you can eat at home their little fries and here is Bella and I'll show you all her plate let me let a little more fries they smell amazing they can always get more if they want more so I'm not gonna worry about that now as far as these are Layla's so let's grab this tone I don't want to um set hers up to where she has that's what I was trying not to do is get the her sauce off of it so she's gonna have four of those of the barbecue let's rinse this off she has um Let's see, Alana has, what did I say, y'all? She has two hot. So Alana has two hot. So let me put Alana's hot here. And then Layla has a couple of hot, too. I think I gave her four hot. If I'm not mistaken. And don't worry, I'm going to give you a close-up. She got four hot, and then I'm going to give her... Let's see. The teriyaki. All right, let's move this out the way. Put that behind y'all and put this behind y'all. And grab the teriyaki. Now, Alana has a couple of teriyaki. She likes their teriyaki. Now. I mean, I gave Layla probably four again. So she has a 12 piece on this plate. And I'm going to give Alana one more teriyaki. Okay. And then we're going to give Bella. Got to clean up our plate now. Can't be having it all sloppy. Bella gets her four wings and she will eat them all. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. And I'm going to take some of that garnishment and go over the top of those wings if she wants. I actually have celery and carrots in there. But I know they're not going to eat it, so it would just be for garnishment. I'm not going to waste my food. That's ridiculous. 
Um, nobody's gonna eat the carrots and nobody's gonna eat the celery. So let's get them some sauces. All right, we need three orders of ketchup and two orders of ranch. <laughs> like we at a restaurant. Three orders of ketchup and two orders of ranch. Um, okay. There they are. And this is just what we do. We got one ranch and another ranch. And let's get the ketchup. And then you can also put extra sauce on the side if you wanted to. But those wings are nice and saucy. They really are, like you wouldn't need it. One, two, and a little bit for Bella, cause Bella will get messy with her ketchup. She used to think it was like lotion or something, I don't know. And then we'll put this on the side. Like that. Those fries are kind of big trying to come off. So now let me show you all everything. Oh, we gotta have salad. So I could do the salads on the side, that's perfect. girls I could put theirs on there but we got our salad here look at that salad so she has her salad give her a few more cucumbers on top but they're there they're just kind of hiding and then I'll give the girls, well, Bella's not going to eat her salad. I already know that. So I'll just put some on Alana's tray. Bella is not going to eat that salad. <laughs> and I was mad because she wastes her salad, you all, the other day, the other night. Whenever I, whatever, oh, when I made the pasta. She wastes that salad, honey. I think that's everything. The only thing she needs is some, um, some salad dressing. Layla! She may not be able to hear me. I don't know what kind of dressing she wants, but I'm gonna give her a little ranch. I'm gonna show you all these plates and I'm gonna let everybody go. Thank you so much for hopping on and joining me tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you for liking and sharing. Look at that right there, honey. Hmm? So she got her hot, she got her honey chipotle barbecue and she has the teriyaki, okay? There's her salad. She got them waffle fries on the side. Here's Alana's plate. She has her salad, her waffle fries, and then she has her wings. She got the Chipotle. I mean, she has the, um, yeah, she did get some Chipotle. No, she got hot and the uh, teriyaki. So they have their sauces there. And then we have Bella. She gets plain chicken fried naked with her fries and her ketchup. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> And, um, but I'm ready to just go and relax. I hope you all have a great evening. Again, thanks for hopping on. And I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow we're making a turkey breast, okay? A whole turkey breast. I was gonna do turkey wings, but I'm gonna bake a turkey breast. I may make some dressing. So I may do like a whole turkey breast. I, I know I'm doing a whole turkey breast. We're gonna bake that. I'm gonna show you how to make it nice and tender. I'm gonna do maybe a dressing. And um, I don't know what else. So I'll just see y'all tomorrow. We'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your support. I love you guys and have a wonderful, blessed and safe night.